And that was that was borderline calling calling the hospital. But <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to better win green. Eh? To better win green. Eh? To better win green. Eh? Welcome into better and green. And today we take our bets very seriously. So Wyatt. I, you lost the bet. I'm going to let you uh, explain what happened. Yeah, so we we had quite a bit of uh, action on the Kentucky Derby. A couple episodes, if you guys did tune in. Uh, we, Me and Ben had a friendly wager of two really competitive trainers. We had Cox, who Ben really liked, who had three horses in the race. And then Pletcher, who I liked, who also had three horses in the race. Um, out of those six horses, I think five of them were in the top six. So super competitive horses. Um, so we had a friendly wager of which horse from which trainer would place higher. And, and I was feeling really good because Pletcher had Forte and Tappet Trice, who I yeah. thought were two of the, the top two. And then um, Cox had Angel of Empire. So I thought I had a good shot at it because I had two of the top three, in my opinion. But uh, as we all know, Forte got scratched. So there goes my my main horse in the race. And then it was between Tappet Trice and Angel of Empire. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys watched the Derby, but Tappet Trice um, did not go in for three times. Uh, he he left at two pumps and um, did not even, I think he placed sixth or seventh. And then seven. uh, Angel of Empire did place third. So um, Ben won the contest because Cox's horse placed higher than uh, Pletcher. So because of that, we found a challenge, and this was Ethan's idea. So, if Ethan, you want to present it, yeah. So, we've done a few challenges on the show. Always, it's always a struggle to think of a new challenge. So, um, went back to my younger days of growing up. Remembered a Robin Big episode on MTV where they tried breaking Guinness World Records, and one of them was Big Black eating as many powdered donuts as that he could. I couldn't remember the exact time. Um, or how many donuts he had to eat, but that's where this challenge came from. Um, so yeah, I think Wyatt, you're going to try to do, it's not the minis. This is full blown, normal size. These. He just gets not, to chill out, right? Yeah. <laughs> just eating donuts. Yeah. 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 Just throughout the show, I have to eat a couple donuts. <laughs> <laughs> what a punishment. <laughs> yeah. No. So I think you guys just see how many you can get down in a minute. Is that what we're going for? Yeah, I got three lined up. We do have four, so I can make a quick adjustment if I do down three in a minute. I don't think that's uh, that's reasonable. I watched a video of this gentleman on YouTube. Uh, his name is Skippy62 Abel, and he had nine in three minutes, but he did finish three in a minute. He was averaging like 20 um, seconds per donut. So I think three is going to be tough, but uh, I don't think four is in my uh, in my wheelhouse today. So. Um, yeah, so I got the three lined up, and then you just want me to begin here? Yeah, go, going for that world record pace. I like your uh, aggressive approach here. Yeah, I mean, um, go go big or go home, right? Yeah. Yeah. You want a gunfire start? Be... What's up? Do you want a gunfire start? Yeah, I got to do – okay, I'm going to dual wield here. Pinky <laughs> on the timer and then left hand on the donut. But, yeah, okay. and if you guys want to – commentary during it because it might get a little silent and awkward so uh, i'm obviously not going to be talking so. okay he's got the akimbo donuts ready to go akimbo on your marks get set bang all right yeah, about half the donut hungry. in the first bite i hear you can't lick your lips that's uh a key allegedly but okay that's about that's a good start. That's a good start. I'm at uh, just getting to 20 seconds on my clock here. Okay. Could be a little off. I mean, it's good. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm liking where this is going. I'm impressed. <laughs> this might be a world record pace. We might have to try the nine and three next time. The heart of a champion. <laughs> you got two. Wow. Before he's on he's on that 20 second I am impressed. You can tell he's thinking about milk or something though, something to wash it down. He looks like he's getting a little dry now. Don't look those lips. He's doing it. He's doing yeah. it. I'm at 55. Come 56, on. Six, Get it in. Three, two, one. <laughs> and he went for the four. Way to go, Wyatt. <laughs> Way to go. 
Competitive eating, it counts if it's in your mouth. So Yeah, I probably shouldn't have went for the fourth, but it would have been right probably a little over a minute there. But that's better than I was expecting. Dude. Can we call it a professional professional bake or donut size? But yeah, not bad. Pretty good too. (laughs) You wow. I'm going to keep this on my lips the whole show, by the way. <laughs> I did not have time to go get donuts today. I'm pretty jealous right about now. Well, why it's got some. Uh, All right, with talking four was done in 153. So Damn. But three was probably done in 105, probably. Yeah. Can I ask I'm after that, do you think you could do the world record? If you, you, got you know, my pace. jaw was getting pretty, pretty tired just in that quick minute. <laughs> so I think I could give it a run for its money in three minutes, but I don't know if I could get to the nine. I think so that's quite, uh, go ahead. Big, big Black did five and two forty five. So you would have smashed that, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless something catastrophic happened. Yeah, I'm not sure if these are, I mean, they're powdered donuts, but they did feel a little like. They looked um, dry, but they had a little more moisture to them than I think normal powder donuts did do have. So maybe that's what helped me. But well, the yeah. flate gate situation here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Probably something like that. Yeah. <laughs> do they have injury timeouts and in competitive eating? If you bite your tongue, they stop until the bleeding <laughs> yeah. stops. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Time again. <laughs> I should. Well, while baseball, you'd be on the 15 day oh, IL for that. And drinking a little bit of Tap It Trice's offspring right here. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb horse. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, did you want to uh, get the big three started off, man? Yeah, I can get it rolling. Um, let me get it pulled up real quick. All right, so I am going to start with – I'll start with hockey. Um, I'm taking the Carolina Hurricanes on the money line, minus 125, closeout game at home. Don't think they want to head back to New Jersey. New Jersey's been a good home team this postseason. Um, took advantage of it against the Rangers, which I didn't enjoy in the first round. But, um, yeah, I think if – if New Jersey wins tomorrow, this could likely go to a game seven. Obviously, Carolina doesn't want that. I think Carolina's by far the better team. Um, have an opportunity to close it out at home. Minus 125 is a really short price on that. So, yeah, I'll gladly take Carolina money line. Yeah, that was a good um, sweat-free bet um, yeah. yesterday. Or I guess yeah. two days ago when you're listening to this. Um, 5-1, 6-1 win, whatever it was. Yeah, that was that was a nice never in question. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like that play. I do have a, a play on that same game, but I'm going to skip real quick to the most recent game at when you're going to be listening to this. So it's actually at 110 Eastern time. So we're taking the early baseball game tomorrow between the Padres and the Twins. And I'm going to take the Twins on the money line plus 100. Uh, Padres are getting a lot of hype now because Tatis back. If you look at the Padres, like first five um, batters in their order. They're absolutely electric. So they're getting a lot of hype, but the Twins are a really good team. And on the mound, the Twins have the the better pitcher on the mound. They have Ober. I hope that's how you pronounce it. He's 2-0 and on the year. And the Padres have Darvish, who everyone knows, you Darvish, 2-2. Two and two. So I think a lot of people will be looking at this, seeing the Padres are already a very public team and popular team, and then seeing you Darvish on the mound too. I think a lot of people are going to be jumping on the Padres. So I like the Twins at home plus 100 there. Yeah, I like that too. Um, my first one is the one that I like the most of my big three, and that's the exact same as Ethan's Carolina money line. Just coming off a six-one shellacking of the Devils. Um, I I I don't know if you said in this episode or just in previous episodes, Ethan, but Carolina is probably the best team remaining in these playoffs. So I, I like them to get it done at home. We're on the same wavelength. Um, this pick, I don't think Wyatt and I are on the same wavelength, but I am going to take the 76ers plus two. Um, basically, just think it's one of the fishiest lines I've seen this NBA postseason. Um, at home, 
have a chance to close it out here, but you know, the Celtics are the heavy favorite or at least heading into the second round of the playoffs that were the heavy favorites to win it all. Um, you know, I still think if they get by Philadelphia on this game, they're going to go back home for game seven, probably win it still probably the favorite. So I just think the line is a little bit short, um, even though Philly is at home also a ton of money coming in on Boston. I know it's early. Um, you're going to get most of that money coming in tomorrow. Wouldn't be shocked if a lot of it does come back on Philly, but uh, yeah, for the time being, I think the line's just too fishy for me not to take. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go right into my opposite bet there. I have the Celtics minus two, so one of us is going to win. But um, or I guess we could both push. Uh, yeah. My thing is, I'm I'm bringing in last year's experience and I guess just the Sixers track record in the playoffs. Um, they they are. Uh, they tank all the time. They can never get out of that first, second round. Um, so now they have the chance to do that at home against a really good Celtics team. Um, I remember last year, I don't remember the exact series matchup, but they had the same situation where they could have won at home, clinched the series, but they lost. And then they went to game seven and ended up losing that one. So I think it's going to be a very similar situation um, to, tonight when you're listening to this. Um, so I like the Celtics. I think the 70s, I was on 76ers two days in a row or two games in a row. They won both, treated me really well. Um, but I'm going to have to go back to the Celtics. I think the Celtics are just the better team. And it just seems like the Sixers are going to explode. So um, on, in, <clears throat> sorry, implode on themselves. So I like the Celtics to cover that. Um, and I do like the Celtics in seven. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Dallas, 60-minute money line, minus 120. I'm going to go with the Stars. Um, we kind of saw this exact same series the first round with Minnesota. Um, the Minnesota gave them a really tough time early, but Dallas was just a better team and pulled ahead. Seattle, this is their first time in the playoffs. They've made it this far. It's already an accomplishment for them. Uh, they've gave Dallas a very hard time so far, but Dallas, I, I believe in that conference, they're they're one of the favorites too between them and Edmonton and I've been a little bit uh a little bit off of Edmonton lately and more so on Dallas. Yeah, I like that play a lot too. I hope you're right with my future well for the series and for the Stanley Cup on Dallas. Yeah. Um yeah, I think they that's a good read. It is very similar to that wild series. Um I'm gonna kind of take one out of Wyatt's book here a little bit. I'm going to Saturday. I'm going to the XFL championship game. Um, it's the Arlington Renegades against the DC Defenders. Why it's DC Defenders. Um, the Renegades are four and six on the year in the regular season. Somehow squeaked into the championship. <laughs> Defenders, on the other hand, nine and one. Um, pretty clearly the best team. They're a six and a half point favorite. It seems so easy to just take them to win by a touchdown. That's why I'm going to take Arlington here. I'm going to fade myself a little bit. I can't find where the public money is on this game. It's just not popular enough. I would have to think everyone betting this game is on the defenders. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to take Arlington to keep it close. I think DC wins it. But, yeah, just again, kind of another fishy line for me, uh, trying to fade the public, even though I don't even know where the public is at. But it's where I'm going here. I like the thought process. Yeah. Um, it's just, it just seems too obvious to take the six and a half for the yeah. much better team. Um, yeah. It's never like you never want to take plus six and a half. It's always a bad line. Um, I forget what those lines are because we haven't bet on football in a while. But uh, yeah, I, right. I, I you know taking a plus six and a half is never fun to root for. But I yeah I like your thought process there. Um, so I'm gonna go to the hockey game that I disagreed with you guys on um, the Devils and the Hurricanes. I. Hopefully, I'm going to have a bet that we can all win, but I'm going to take the New Jersey Devils team total over two and a half, a minus 140. It's pretty juicy, and it's not a great value play at all. But my thought process here is I kind of think the Devils are going to win it. I think the Devils are going to come out swinging. Um, we saw the Devils in game three score eight goals, yeah. um, got embarrassed in game four. So the Devils definitely have the opportunity to um, explode. but. And if they win this game, then they go back to um, New Jersey. So I think they have a lot of momentum, a lot to play for. Obviously, it's an elimination game, but I think they can easily put up three goals. Every single game in this series has gone over, which scares me a bit. But we haven't had a really close game yet. I think game one was 5-1. Game two was 
maybe a closer game and then eight, four, and then five, one again. So, um, or maybe I got that backwards, but, um, I think it's gonna be a closer game kind of back and forth. So I could see like an OT maybe bet here, but, uh, I do like the team total and hopefully this way we can have the Devils score, you know, three and the hurricanes to win. I remember at the end of the first round when I took the Rangers team total, that did not work out for me. They were in the same. Yeah, position. team totals are. Uh, I'm thinking I'm like one for two on them, but yeah. Well, I hope you're right, man. I Thank uh, you. I would love <laughs> a three-five game. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go Kevin Durant over thirty and a half points. I mean, I was laboring over this pick. Um, I I don't super love it, but in his last two of the two of the last three games he's played, he's got over thirty. It's an elimination game. They're at home. Uh. KD, he's going to try to put the team on his back. Offensively, I love betting on KD. So, uh, 30 and a half, I I feel comfortable swallowing those points. I think it's a safe, like solid it. bet. Yeah, I'm all about safety. <laughs> safety first. Yes. <laughs> if you're really safe, you take Duran over one point. But <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right, sports betting education. <laughs> Why, you got a uh, cotton mouth yet? Yeah, it's a little dry. It feels a little weird, but uh, <laughs> it's a little dry. I think I, I just inhaled a lot of calories after not eating a whole lot today, so <laughs> just feel a little a pit in the stomach. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not bad. I mean, it tasted good. So Better than the one chip? Yeah, I not <laughs> not the same pit in the stomach. This one's more of a full pit. That one was more of a, I think there's something wrong with me pit. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, not nearly as bad as as that one chip. Uh, that was that was borderline calling calling the hospital. But <laughs> <laughs> this one, I think I just gotta do a couple jumping jacks or something to get the intestines going. <laughs> Well, guys, we have some new uh, graphics that I have to display right now. And, Ethan, I think you and me have to tip our caps now to the host of the month, which is the one and only Mr. Worst Bets. <laughs> Why you. You, you two two months in a row, man. How does it feel? Uh, you know, I've, I've been on kind of a, a heater. You know, uh, since January, I, I've been on a heater, so... Hopefully we can continue that uh, with my luck. It's I'm it's going to be a massive steep downfall, but uh, hopefully I can just, you know, kind of have a nice little slope down where it have been another big spike. But uh, yeah, it feels good, man. Um, I, that kind of caught me by surprise. I didn't, I didn't realize that I was winning, but uh, I guess that's sometimes the best thing when you, when you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You think you can make it three months in a row? The triple crown. No, but I think <laughs> I'll definitely give it my best try. <laughs> I've been pretty good at uh, at trying to fade you guys, but yet root for you at the same time. So it's been working out. So hopefully that can continue. I like it when everyone's a winner. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what better still, is about. Still fishing for that first 9-0 and day, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And same thing with the daily pick show. We have yet to have a three and O day, right? Which is mind blowing to me. But yeah, <clears throat> we've had what we'll get a one. nine day win streak, and now six or seven, seven going for eight. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh, hopefully eight. by the time you're listening to this, it will be eight. If go look at ESPN right now and see if the Warriors won by eight, and yeah. then if they did, we're eight days in a row. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Ethan. Uh, send us out of here with a question for the people. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go back to why it's a little challenge. I want to know how many donuts do you think you could eat in, we'll say two minutes. Is yeah. At the end there, after all the talking, um, how many donuts do you think you could do in two minutes? Eh, no, let's do one minute. Why well, I had three down in one minute. I'm yeah. pretty confident with saying that. How many could you yeah. do in one minute? Okay. I could maybe do a half. What about your newly uh, surgical throat? Yeah. Oh, see, the, issue, throat. the issue is the old brain is the same, and my routine <laughs> is, I don't know, 16, 17, 18 years old. So 
old habits die hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Better and Green Podcast. Make sure you're following us everywhere. Subscribe to you so you don't miss any of the content we put out. Man, we're throwing out some banger memes right now. They're going wild. So make sure you guys are part of that. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys. Later, guys. See you guys. Now we always on spot and we cover all spot from the bottom to the top. Hey, shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.